Hi folks, Dr. Bob McCauley. This is part four. Uh, just an overview of my new book, The Cure in the Mirror, Nature's Protocol for Surviving Cancer. Please subscribe, smash that like button right now, and share this video so that the world knows there's a natural way to cure the body of cancer. Next is the six principles of the naturopath. So I go through those and tell you where we're coming from. And last but not least, well, the final word on the medical establishment, I just tell a little bit more a uh, few last things if I haven't said it I'm gonna say it now and then last is the 20 commandments of the medical establishment uh, because you know they need 20 because they're twice as good as nature so that's just a little bit of fun there uh, but honestly a lot of it's really pretty much true now we get into my health protocol so what you need to do uh, to cure cancer so I go over that very you know, right from the beginning here's what you got to do Follow my health protocol. What are my, my what are the bona fides? What am who you know? How do I have a right to say this? To to do these things? Who who am I to you know come out and say yeah you can do this? Well, I talk about that. I say here's where I'm coming from. Here's where here's my credentials, if you will. Um, you know, ten things you can do right now to fight cancer. Just a quick list of here's what you should start with. Uh, I talk quick briefly about vitamin C and cancer. That's uh, Linus Pauling wrote the. Uh, a book on that and he wrote all sorts of papers he won the Nobel Prize um, you know the ascorbic acid is an amazing molecule that's vitamin C it's the only molecule in the universe that can give or or, or, or donate an electron that's pretty amazing so uh, it's the first um, once we become we are an em embryo uh, we start the, uh, as a human being uh, you have an egg and a sperm come together the first molecule that is made is ascorbic acid so it's a very special one and it has a lot to do if you had cancer boy I'd be taking probably five or six thousand uh, milligrams a day that's five or six grams it's water soluble it's not going to hurt you um, the next is um, um, it's the um, Morbi Natura Vensi Omnia that's the natural na nature cures all disease and it does nature cures any disease you just got to know what to do and that's what this whole book is about next is dr. Bob's can uh, cancer protocol overview just what it like sounds like the sevenfold path to health um, that's my seven component health protocol I tell you how to go through that your body is capable of healing itself of any disease uh, you know really doubling down tripling down quadrupling down on that one yes your body can cure itself of any disease and develop he he healthy habits that will last, last a lifetime you really this is a really a, a lot about changing your lifestyle and changing your thinking and developing the right habits um, you know for instance uh, you know as an example eating the right foods not eating uh, till a certain point in the mo morning uh, making sure you you exercise every day you got to develop new habits because your old habits got you sick with cancer um, so you got to develop new ones um, you know what you what you desire what you want is irrelevant so it doesn't matter you know boy I, I love these foods or I need this kind of food or I need to have some cooked foods that's doesn't matter what you think it doesn't matter what you want uh, it, all that matters is what belongs in the foods uh, in the body and which foods belong in the body and you say there's been so many people that have told me through the years I actually have to eat cooked foods no you just want to it's a hundred percent up here anything you put into your body is 100 percent up here um, and uh, next is uh, the three pillars of health um, you know that's I go through that hydrate your body alkalize your body detoxify your body HAD had uh, first is had hydrate your body um, I talk about the fourth phase of water and and uh, alkaline ionized water and how alkaline water alkaline ionized water is found everywhere in nature and that's dr. Gerald Pollack did the work on that in his book the fourth phase of water uh, a great guy and, and a good colleague of mine um, oh, the only water hydrates the body you know a lot of people think you can drink a juice and get hydration you can't They're, the only place you can get water is from water itself you really can't get it from any other spot place like you drink a watermelon juice which I love and I had all have it all summer um, you know it you can't uh, it dehydrates you because it's a diuretic so you're actually losing water believe it or not with even with a watermelon juice Next is alkalize the body. Uh, bring the body pH up to uh, to, to neutral, which um, you measure through your urine, and that's measuring body pH. You do that not through your tongue, but through your urine. You got to do that every day for a month to get a moving average. Um, mark uh, detoxify the body. That's um, everything that the book is about. Take getting the things that don't belong the body, belong in the body, which we refer to as toxins, out of the body. 
and uh, that's detoxification, so detoxify the body. Uh, marketing detoxification. Well, I put that in there. That, what that's about is uh, how this whole I, this whole word detox is something that the FDA, by the way, hates the word detox or detoxification because it's so hard to prove. Yeah, this this product of yours is taking toxins out of the body, and what is a toxin? So it's, it is, you know, from their point of view, very vague as a what it what as a toxin. So there's a war on that word out there, but. Um, you know, and it's kind of one of these, well, I want to detox, you know, what does that mean? I want to mentally detox, I want to emotionally detox. Okay, uh, we're talking about detoxification of substances that do not belong in the body, and a toxin is anything that does not perform a function in the body. Therefore, it should get out of the body. That's, that's what a detoxification is. Foods and other substances that do detoxify the body, I talk about that. Foods and substances with killing power. So we'll get into that. Um, that has do with uh, you know destroying everything in your di your digestive tract so we can put back the f the friendly bacteria. Um, so when I say killing power, these are these are uh, foods that um, that really can put into your body and clear that out, and then again put in the friendly bacteria, and then cleansing your temple, of course, is cleansing your body. Uh, that's what it's all about. Uh, Dr. Bob's uh, Chapter 5, Dr. Bob's Tabla Rasa Method, Start from Scratch, and that's what everything is about. That's what I'm going to talk about here, um, you know, uh, really just wiping out everything in the digestive tract, killing everything, uh, all of the bacteria, uh, viruses, yeast, mold, and fungus, and then uh, replacing it with the healthy bacteria. Because if you got cancer, you probably have a lot of things in here, parasites that don't belong there, and you got to get those out. So you go on a fast, you stop uh, eating, and um, and then you go, you know, you start clear the body, and then you you repopulate it with the friendly bacteria, uh, healing the body, um, and how to do that. Um, you know, your body sewer or temple. So is your body a sewer? Um, what are you putting into it? Obviously, if you got cancer, you've treated your body like a sewer. You've treated just like it's a garbage dump. And uh, I may I, instead of a temple, I always make the point. You know, if if if, if you went to church. And you walked in, and there were garbage just strewn all over the, um, you know, the the altar in front. You would run and get everybody as soon as possible and clear that up. That was a desecration. But look what you've done to your body. They're doing it every time you eat the junk foods and the fast foods and the things that you like the taste of. You're polluting the body, and you got to stop doing that if you want to be healthy. So what we want to do is is clear the body and clear the digestive tract. Therefore, the the miraculous healing power of fasting. Fasting is the healthiest thing you can possibly do. Stop eating. You know, people eat every single day of their lives. And they there was one guy who was a health guru. You can't think of his name right now, but he started all sorts of organizations. And the guy was enormous. Uh, he was blind in one eye, uh, and he ate his big three meals every single day. That was what you know. It was he killed himself. He died of cirrhosis of the liver. Um, and a good guy, but uh, you know he really didn't understand the fundamentals of health. You got to, you know. I wish I could get up every day and have a nice big breakfast of, you know, eggs and bacon and all that kind of stuff, just like anybody else. Um, I wish I could have a big burger for lunch. I mean, that would taste good, and then a pizza at night. That's just garbage, garbage, garbage. I live on a diet of raw fruits and vegetables, and that's why I'm such an unhealthy person. Uh, anybody can do this. Anybody can do it. Um, the myths of, um, oh, well, I get into fasting for the brain and how that needs to be cleared out. If you have mental fog, you can't think. It's because of toxins in your brain. Um, you also need to feed the brain. We'll get into that later. Uh, morning protocol, what to do. Uh, I'm sorry, um, uh, the myths of bre breakfast and meal time. Well, the idea, yeah, you got to get up in the morning, eat something. I never eat until 11 o'clock noon, usually noon, sometimes 1 o'clock, especially on the weekends. I, I can wait quite a while before I, I want to eat anything. Um, and I might be a little hungry, but I know I'm clearing my blood and I'm really uh, doing the healthiest thing I can do for myself. Because I haven't eaten since, you know, say like 7 o'clock the night before. Well, now it's almost noon, so I, I have a good like 15-hour fast every single day. That's what you want to do. That's what you want to shoot for. Uh, many, many meals, many diseases. Let that sink in. The more you eat, uh, the more diseases you have, more likelihood of diseases. L fewer diseases, um, few, fewer meals, fewer diseases. Morning protocol, I would just discuss that, what you do when I get up. Uh, cancer protocol overview, and then I just kind of again, again get into that. I really start to talk about uh, what you want to do, what you want to put into your body. Uh, the next is um, 
which is like a 30,000 foot view of that. Um, then the next, the most important element for our health, component number one, water. No doubt about that. The most important thing you can put into your body is water. Well, I'm going to leave it there for right now. That's part four uh, of sort of a general overview of my book, The Cure in the Mirror, Nature's Protocol for Surviving Cancer. And if you do follow my protocol, you will not have any disease, including cancer. Dr. Bob, see you next time.